Hello. Um, so for my meal prep, I usually show a video of me cooking like I did with the last two. Um, but this was a crock pot meal, um, which is a little harder to show because like I've been cooking it since six o'clock this morning. Um, it's now 11. Um, but, and also didn't, it came out better than I thought it would. Uh, so what it is is a tor spinach tortellini soup. Um, so what's in it? I've got two bags of cream sugar. I mean cream sugar, creamed um, spinach. Two bags of cream spinach. Um, some mixed vegetables because I usually buy small bags and then I mix it myself just to give different tastes. So there's for vegetables. Uh, Peas, mushrooms, some broccoli, uh, carrot, uh, riced sweet potato. So there's little pieces of sweet potato that are like this big. Um, a little bit of cauliflower in there as well. And that's all I can think of. Um, so that's the veggies. I make my own meatballs and put those in. Um, I couldn't find actually a hamburger. Store was completely out of hamburger, so I used sausage um, and rolled it up, rolled it into some egg and some um, breading, Italian breading, made those and then added that. Um, and then I have spinach and cheese tortellinis in there, um, chicken broth, and for spices I have the chicken broth, um, garlic, pepper, and oregano. Um, and then when it was very close to being done completely, add um, fresh Parmesan cheese, like a, a bag of that, and a bag of five Italian cheese. It actually came out amazing. Um, so you just kind of put that stuff all in the crock pot, the cheese last, and let it go on... I have it on um, low, so I'll show you what that looks like in a second. So, I'm going to take a little bit out and show. Just scooping it now. It's very cheesy, so you know, cheese is going everywhere. Ooh. Let's see if I can turn my camera down so I can actually see. There we go. So that's what it ends up looking like. Um, tastes a lot better than it looks. And definitely I have a lot of vegetables in there. Um, I'm going to let it cool down before I put it in. I'm going to let that cool down before I put that in the fridge. But I just wanted to show that um, recipe. And at some point I'll probably make it again. Anyway, thanks for watching.